I use Git clone to clone bootstrap project from GitHub. And if we take a look at this bootstrap project, you see that there is an 80,623 commits, which is a huge number. So for example, if you want to get some information about this commit, you can just click here. And if you want to just get some, some commits that are, that are committed by a specific order of, or if I want to, if I'm looking for a commit for a specific time frame, so doing that manual is quite impossible because this is a huge number and 80,623 is just a huge number. I can do that manually. So, but the first thing, let's just move here to the terminal and I'm just using this git log. I will use the git log, which will show me the, the whole history and I can access to the, all of the, all of the commits, but this is not the case of using git log because I have 18,000 and 623 commits, which is, as I already said, a huge number. So to navigate through the, the log, you can just use the directions and from the keys directions, or if you want to quit, just type Q and you want to quit. So another type here, if you want to just navigate into the end of this log, of this logs, I just need to type shift and G and I won't get into the end. If you see here, I have an end, which defined that I'm in the end of the file. But you see here, I have 2011 or 2011, which is the first commit when bootstrap is started. Okay, let's just quit that by typing Q. Okay, open the git log. Then if you wanna quit, just type Q, then you will quit. When I type git log, it shows me the full history, but I'm not interested in what the full history. I just wanna limit the number of commits to the output with, for example, two commits. And for that, I will use git log, then this hyphen n, when n should be a number. It can be a number two, three, or any other number. If I wanna limit the output to two, to two commits, for that I will use two, then hit enter. And as you see, I have the two commits from the whole list of commits. Okay, if I wanna go to five ones, I just need to hit five. Now I have five commits. Now if we are looking for a commit for a specific time frame, and if we just type git log, you will see that there is multiple, we have a date here, Monday, April 1 and for Friday, March 29. And if I wanna just limit that, I can use the flag after, and I can use a date. For example, let's just go for 28 March, 2090. Now, if I hit enter, you will see that I get two commits. What I mean by this after right here, it means that show me any commits after 28 March, 2019. Okay, this is what I wanna get. And the same as after we have sense. Okay, the sense is just, it is the same as after, I'll just use one. And so after 28 March, 2019, 2019 is, is the same as since 28 March, 2019. Okay, now if I just show the history, okay, let's just go again. You will see that I have Monday, April 1 and Friday, March 29, which is after 28 March. If I wanna go before, so for that, I need to use before instead of 20, instead of after. Now I will just keep the same date, but I will get any commits before this 28 March, 2019. And if we just hit enter, you will see that I have this March 27, but it will go until the last, the first one. And let's just time shift G to go to the last one of the first commit. So we'll go to the first commit because this 2011 is the first one. So we'll go from the Wednesday, March 27 until the first commit. I'm not here defining the until, so, but it is defined by default because this before is vague. It's from the 28th, March 2019 until the first commit. So this is what you need to keep in mind. And we have the same as before, we have until. If it's the same as before, just choose the one and use it. Now, if I wanna define a range of dates, so for example, since until, so I can use git log and since 28 March 2019, until as an example, I will go for, let's just go for 2 April 2019. Okay, what do I have here? Just 
two commits because this range that I'm defining, I have only two commits in this range. And if I go here, let's just define that to have more commits. I will use 2018, which means one year, more than one year, but I will have a huge amount of commits. I will have uh, a large list of commits. Now I can navigate through that if I want to go until to the end. And this is the Tuesday, March 27, 27, uh, I'm sure it's 2018. Okay, and this is just a list of commits that I'm getting from this range of date. I'm just defining here. I'm just looking for a commit for a specific time frame, and I define the time frame. But what you need to keep in mind is this date right here. They can be formatted like that. So I will go for month first. Let's just go for three and 28, which is the date, and 2018. So if it's the same as this one. So this format is like this one. And look, let's just hit enter. I'm giving the same result. And I can do the same thing for this one. The month is the first one. It is four. Then the day is two. And the year stay the same. And I hit enter. Now, if I'm looking for a commit created by a particular user, and I want to just get a commit whose order match a specific pattern. And for that, I'll use git, sorry, I'll use git log then the flag author, and this is the pattern. I can get, I can use here regular expression, but if I'm sure I know exactly what's the name, I can just use John as an example, and it will just get into this order and find John. And let's just find John. You will see that I have every name with John. And if I want to get John and Adam, so in this case, I need to use a regular expression. And let's just use a regular expression instead of the string. Okay, I'll go for that, then add the parentheses. Okay, well, let's just add the name first, Adam and John, or John, not and John. Okay, we'll use an R, let's just use R here, sorry. Or, now let's just add the delimiters. First one, let's go for the second one. Okay, cool. Now let's just hit enter. I'm giving Adam and also John. And you can use any regular expression within the other. Now, if I want to find a message that matches the specific pattern, for that, I can use grep. Okay, let's just use grep, which will need a pattern. Okay, let's just go for any any text. But first, let's just type git log to see here. I have, for example, this remove CSS variables, and I will just try to find the CSS by using this scss by using grep. And for that, I'll use git log, then grep, and we'll type a CSS. Now you will see that it will find a CSS within the message. So it's it, it matches the pattern in our case because I'm giving it I'm giving it the CSS word and you will find out that there is multiple ones. Okay, let's just navigate through the file. You'll see there is multiple CSS within the message, and this is what I'm giving. You can add any regular expression within this grep, so it will work.